My current role is in economics at the Heinz School, and I teach uh, an energy and the environment course, which is really um, bringing energy and the environment together and looking at it through a sort of economics lens um, so that students can understand things like what are the ramifications of imposing a price ceiling? What are some things that one wants to look at when thinking about the regulatory process and so forth? So I'm currently working on two projects. Um, one is uh, looking at pollution and sort of the evolution of pollution in the U.S. Uh, during the mid-20th century when pollution was very severe um, and looking at the mortality impact. Um, the other thing that we're working on, and I'm working with a group of co-authors, is really looking at the U.S. historical experience um, with respect to climate change. In both of those projects, um, the project related to climate change and the project related to the use of coal for home heating, one of the reasons why we want to understand the American experience is because uh, that itself is inherently interesting, but also because both the severe pollution from the use of coal for home heating is occurring in the developing world today, and similarly, we expect many developing countries to experience um, big increases in temperature related to climate change. And so understanding how it was that the U.S. was able to sort of moderate the relationship between um, high heat and mortality that is, uh, you know, mitigated um, will, we hope, be helpful in terms of thinking about policies that will be effective in the developing world. I think that uh, our work is primarily of interest both sort of to the general population who's interested in understanding um, the sort of evolution of energy and the environment in the U.S. context, um, so just from a background perspective, but also um, some of the things that are happening uh, or might be relevant for developing countries. Um, and that's, I think, where government policymakers are also interested, people uh, potentially at the World Bank or uh, at the IMF. Um, because again, I think understanding the effects of climate change, what we did here that allowed us to mitigate it um, in the U.S. context and what might be uh, useful avenues uh, for mitigating it in developing country contexts.